Hi. So, this is the third time that I'm recording this video. Because the first two times, it turned out that the microphone was neither on, and then when I turned it on, it did not work. Because, two, it did not have any batteries. So, or the battery, rather, was dead. So, now that you can hear me, my wonderful voice, quotations around that, I'm well aware, my sister's down here now. So, um... Welcome to the video. Welcome to my face. I have been kind of busy over the past um, week, technically. It was the last half of last week and then the first half of this week. So um, I've done three speed draws, or not three speed draws, but the beginnings of three speed draws and liked two-thirds of them, and then by the time I got to the third one, I was out of time. So that's why I am recording this video. Uh, last minute, it is currently 7.58 p.m. on the Thursday before I am supposed to post. I was busy. I was doing a lot of cleaning. Um, school started this week on Monday, and then work for me starts next week, but I've been doing prep for work this week as well as the last half of last week. That's what all the cleaning has been for. So, I've been busy and very creatively unmotivated. So, um, mostly just in regards to doing speed draws, which, if that's the only thing I'm posting, then it's a little bit inconvenient for me. So, thank you, brain. Anyway. So, let's just get on with this. So, first off, so, I'll make myself a little bit smaller. You don't have to see me. I don't want to see me. So, the first thing that I worked on was um, Blender. And that was enough to make me want to rip my own hair out and, you know, cry a little bit. It wasn't good. It was terrible. Thank you, Riz. She's my laugh track. Um... So anyway, um, I was working on this, so my dad had wanted to find an STL for Ruby Hoshino, which is, she is from Martian Successor Nudesco, which is fantastic, and I highly recommend it to anyone who likes anime, because it really has everything. Like, it's got a harem, it's got romance, it's got childhood friend, it's got, uh, it's a mecha anime, It's it's got some really freaking catchy music just just at the very least listen to the intro and the outro and then um i want to be your number one because they're bangers um so yes so listen to those watch the anime highly recommend please bring back uh martian i guess um so this is ruby and there were a couple of flaws in my plan so first off i have never used blender before uh or at least not to this extent. I've tried making a square and failed and then never touched it again. The reference sheet that I used, it has a very good side profile, but the front profile, she's not facing the front. She's facing this quarter, three quarters or something like that now. Um, so that was inconvenient. And that kind of put a wrench in my plans. So I had to do a lot of guesswork when it came to the front. Um, and then the second thing was that she's not symmetrical. And I couldn't put symmetry on. Symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. I couldn't put symmetry on because um, by the time I got around to figuring out how to do that, she was already, she, she's too far gone. Like. I put on symmetry, and half of her body was over here. So I couldn't figure out how to replicate that. Um, for some bizarre reason. Let me actually put her in... Oh, is it this? Wait a minute. What happened? Stop it. No. My name's not Jean Valjean. 
can't be singing. What have I done? Oh my god. Cool. So I fixed that for the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna have to restart because when I had put symmetry on um, to try and sculpt, half of her body ended up over here and it was no better when I tried the other direction. So I'm just I'm gonna have to restart, but it'll be fine because I've already um, made a lot of mistakes with this one, and I know more things, so hopefully it'll go much smoother. So, that was my blunder experience. Everyone go watch Martian Success in the Desco. Here, here are all of my speed draws. So, last, not last week, but last speed draw, so two weeks ago, um, I drew Apple White from Ever After High. Lesbian icon, uh, She's kind of terrible, to be honest, but, I mean, we love her anyway. <laughs> My sister agrees. Yeah, she's not fantastic, is she? She's ignoring me now. Um, yeah, she's kind of a terrible friend. Um, so, yeah, I drew her. I was super happy with it. It was one of the best things I think I've drawn, not only for this channel, but just in general, and so I wanted a way to kind of keep that momentum going, um, and I could not replicate it. I tried, so this is Raven. I wanted to try and draw her, and um, I, because the way that I drew Apple, I kind of drew her in the way that a lot of uh, religious art depicts Jesus or, you know, other super high up dudes, you know, super important, um, little like crown. Um, and I really liked that, uh, symbolism. Um, I'm not religious by the way, so like, don't quote me. Um, so I wanted to try and depict Raven in a pretty, in like the opposite way. And so I was like, okay, well, who's the opposite of Jesus? And so... Uh, Satan, I guess. <laughs> yeah, don't call me on this stuff. <laughs> the opposite of Jesus is Satan. So, I wanted to keep that sort of religious symbolism uh, going, because I thought it was kind of cool. And so, I came up with using the first sexy uh, Lucifer statue to use as reference for um, Raven, which, um, also I want to point out, I did not use any religious reference for Apple, I just thought that the crown would be cool, and I knew that I saw it, I'd seen it in art before. So, I, I used that, and then I was like, oh, cool, Jesus, awesome. Um, so, anyway, for this one I did specifically use the first sexy Jesus, or, sorry, the first sexy Lucifer statue uh, that the church commissioned, and then where they were like, uh, this is way too sexy. And so they commissioned the guy's brother, and he was like, um, I'll show you too sexy, and he outdid his brother, because that's just brotherly things, I guess. I, I used the first one because I thought it was a little bit more... What is the word? Melancholy, I guess? Lonely. Um, and I really liked that sort of loneliness uh, in the pose. So I wanted to try and put Raven in it, and I found these cool wing... Uh, a wing reference, a couple of free ones on the Clip Studio store. Um, I couldn't tell you what they were called. This one is 3D wood wings. 3D wood wings? Whatever. And then this one is... This one rice field heart. Heaven? Is that Angel? I don't know. Something though 3D white wings. Just look it up yourself. You can find them pretty easily if you just like scroll under the free things. I say easily, just keep an eye out for them. Anyway. So I found them with poster and I hated it. I hated it all. I don't like it. I even started on the line art and I was like, I'm forcing myself to do this. I don't like it. So I stopped it. Um, and I 
was like, damn, now I don't have a speed draw, and I need to figure out to do what to do next. And that's when I started this one. So I've been playing Baldur's Gate. Um, I absolutely love Carlac. She is my waifu, even though she, I'm not dating her, which is my biggest regret, guys. Um, maybe, maybe in my, in my next playthrough, I'm definitely dating her. I just, I love her so much. So, I have the idea for cons to do, um, like a sort of Valentine's Day themed, uh, postcard size ones, uh, where all the characters are, or the main six are giving, um, <laughs> your name, or receiving from your name, Valentine's cards, and... I thought that was a good idea, and I wanted to try the first one with Carlac because, again, I love her. Um, so, this is... I liked the pose. This is what I came up with, but I don't like the composition. I think I just need to change the composition to like it. Um, but I will try reworking on it a different time, because I'm just not feeling it. Like, I don't have the artistic energy to keep up with what I want to do with this one right now. So, I'm gonna have to put this on the back burner. So, finally, um, so for the past two years, I think two years, whatever, it might not have been consistent, but, um, twice I have redone this speed draw. Um, you can find it, I think I did it for YouTube last year. It was one of the first ones I did, I think. Um, either way, um, so this is Kyoru, their ship name, I don't usually use ship names, but, um, I didn't feel like writing Kyo and Toru 2024, because that's just a lot of work, and I'm kind of lazy, so, um, yeah, so I, I did this, I changed the composition, because I've been wanting to do that, I wasn't happy with my redraw last year, so I changed the things, that I wasn't really happy with. Um, I don't really know how to describe any of my thought process. I just, I didn't like last year's. Um, I'll show it up on screen. But, um, yeah, I just, I wasn't happy with it for some reason. I think it's always just, like, I get their faces weird. Because my style's kind of anime, but not, like, very close <laughs> to the anime style, I guess. So, sometimes when I draw... That is not true. Some anime... Oh, well, I guess it's kind of true. Okay, fine, you win this round, Riss. <laughs> Anyways, super anime -y styles. <laughs> are kind of hard for me to replicate, just because they don't necessarily always fit proportionally with what I want to naturally do, so that's something that I have to work on. So, I, I, I always end up not liking their faces. They're just weird. And I think here, his face is much better than it's been. Her face, I feel, is still a little bit weird, and I'm not sure how to fix it yet. So I'm going to keep tweaking it, and hopefully in two weeks this will be <laughs> close to done. Um, fingers crossed and such. But it gives me the same vibe as my Saga and Greeky one, which isn't bad, but it is sort of similar. Um, and so finally, finally, oh my god, again? It's spoiling it. This is like the third time that that frame has spoiled it. Okay, so... Um, I did that speed draw a while back, uh, Eyes Like Gold, it's fine. Since then I have changed my, how my brain perceives Andrew the look. And so, it's not my favorite thing. I do like the atmosphere, but I might want to redraw it in the future. And, um, yeah, so I'm obsessed with the Oh for the Game series. It is absolutely the worst thing I have ever read. But I'm obsessed with it. I love it with all my heart. I'm currently listening to it again. I have the books. I want to get the Sunshine Court in um, a physical copy. 
1998 when it came out, I only bought the ebook version of The Sunshine Court because at the time I was kind of poor and I did not want to wait for the copy to come in the mail. So, yeah, eventually I will I will get it, but yes. Anyways, so I had this idea to create an anime opening with the Sunshine Court characters and how the Sunshine Court with, to create an anime opening um, with all the characters. Um, I don't think it's going in that direction. I did actually. <laughs> I thumbnailed. Um, what's it called? Hey, Riz, you know what it's called when, um, storyboard. I storyboarded it. I storyboarded an entire anime opening for the Foxhole Court, the first book, which will be the first season in my beautiful, beautiful head. Um, <laughs> I storyboarded it. And I was like, I, it was like 2 a.m., so I don't even know how it holds up. But then I started doodling, and I really liked the idea of having them in, like, a 90s anime style, you know? As opposed to that sort of modern day, I was thinking something more along the lines of, like, the banana fish style, which is absolutely awful <laughs> um, to, to um, think about. Press the like button if you were traumatized by Banana Fish, either the manga or the anime. I have not been able to see the anime, and honestly, I'm kind of grateful because the manga did uh, did things to my brain and my emotional state. So anyways, um, back on track. Kind of. Mm, ADHD's just like that. So anyway, um, yes. So this is the first one I did. So I... Originally, I took video of myself. This is me. You can't really see it well. It's kind of laggy. Um, but that did force me to look at the individual pictures and draw those out. Sisters. Sisters. I have sisters. Anyway, what was I saying? I've completely forgotten now. Anyways, so I think I was saying... Oh, breaking down the post. So, what the lagging did was force me to look at the individual poses uh, that made, down, uh, made the movement a whole. So, I tried replicating those first. Um... Which, there were actually a lot of them, so I don't think I did it right. But it did come out with an animation, so this is the first pass. So, these, there are, I believe, no in-betweens here. This is all just the normal, um, like, posing. Um, also, I know nothing about lacrosse. So, I now know, after looking at reference, um, that this is way too big. But that's okay, because I fixed it in the next pass. Um, so the next pass, this is where I went in and I added in-betweens and keyframes. Um, so it's a bit smoother here, uh, as you can see, like, there are differences, there's more and less more, fewer, whatever. Anyways, so. Um, so that was the second pass. The in-betweens, or sorry, the, um, the keyframes didn't come in until a little bit later. Um, I added hair, and then I added the um, name card. So I, I'm quite happy with how it's turning out, um, especially considering that animation's not really my forte. So um, what I'm going to have to do with this stick... Wait, what is... What is a lacrosse stick called? Hold on, just a sec, I'm going to Google it. <laughs> a lacrosse stick is also known as a cross. Okay. 
the more you know. Oh, it's also called a lacrosse stick. Okay, well. Anyway, the lacrosse stick. I now know that it was way too big, so. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put the head down here, just because. Um, so yeah, and I did that. I, I, I made reference to this ten times. More than ten, even, because I had multiple different takes for each of them, so um, I might put those, I'm going to put them after this video, because, oh, that was a shiver, because that would be, um, that would be funny. So, anyways, that's what I've been working on, I have been busy, I have been doing things, I've also not practiced the piano very much, so, um, Yeah. Yeah. So I apologize to my piano teacher who is probably watching this. Um, I meant to. I wanted to. And then by the time I was thinking about it, it was like 8 o'clock at night. And I didn't have the energy to. So if I suck on Saturday, it's just because I haven't practiced. Sorry. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Hopefully I don't have to redo this video again because now the microphone works, kind of, hopefully, probably. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video format, let me know, please. Because um, despite... On my rage, I'm still just a rat in the cage. No, despite um, everything, I do enjoy make vi making videos, and this is a lot easier to do than a speed draw, and it has it, it takes less time. So, um, I also want to do more live streams in the future, because again, I love drawing and I love making videos, but sometimes it's just a little bit difficult to do that because I, I have a schedule and I try and keep it, but I don't always have the time or energy to draw, um, and it really sucks. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and enjoy my, I don't know what to call them, references, my references. Enjoy my reference videos. Those... They were silly, and will hopefully get animated, so thanks.
Thank <laughs> you. 